Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Lost Inferno Fire Dragon, and for today's video, I'm doing a thing, a rundown of what I was saying in my Call of Duty video. Um, I would. This is what I'm going to be using to make the cosplay armor. I'm going to turn this wagon into a the fire pit and foundry and a hydro dip tank. What I would do is I would take panels and line first I take a steel first I would cut off the hinges here here and on the back of both sides weld them shut clean up the panels clean up the cut um cut clean up the welds weld along all four of the sides then put a steel sheet at the bottom weld it in the four corners then weld along all the sides and then weld steel p panels here 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 in all the open spots you see because th with the steel sheet at the bottom that wa dirt or water can't get out along with those all being sealed along with those being so it can't be opened at all and with the since it's a wagon it's easy to move then I would do that and we move on to the welder this is a kicking horse welder it's a stick welder it's one for those that are starting out into welding and you can just plug it into 110 volts or 120 volt um, outlet and you can use that for welding and it's a good stick welder for starting out into welding. Then we move on to the Dremel band uh, saw. I would use this to cut the panels to size as well as the bottom sheet that I would use then moving on we are going to the Dremel Versa which I would use this to clean the welds up for the mini fire pit mini metal foundry, slash mini metal foundry and the hydro dip tank I'd use that to clean it up Moving on to the Dremel Micro. This would be for the smaller welds that I can't get with, can't get to with the Dremel Versa. Whereas the Micro can go into the spots and it has a light on it so I can use that and clean the welds up that way. Well, blend the welds to where they're no longer visible. Then I would use this as the paint for the wagon after I put in this everything else and all that. I would basically use it to where it's Paint it to where the heat from the forge and the foundry doesn't get out and warp the wagon. So I'll use that to basically do that. Then moving on, we have a fire extinguisher that I always use as a crucible for the forge and everything. After I had emptied it and everything else, cut the top off, and I'll use that as a crucible and all that. Moving on, we have, I would, steel bars I would use as to make tongs, which I will put a link in the description. I figured out how to make these from Grant Thompson, so I will put a link down in the description along with the stuff he's made and everything so I'll do that for the tongs and everything 
Then these are the brad point drill bits that I would use to put the holes in for the screws to make the tongs. Moving on. Sorry about this. And then this would be for the drag the brad point drill bits, the chuck and the Dremel tool because you need this to work with, I mean you can use it with the micro but the next piece of tool I'm about to show you you would need the this Dremel tool right here and this is would work with the Dremel micro the not the micro the previous Dremel tool I showed you with the chuck on it this would work with it because it's a drill press and you just pre drill down and all that using the Dremel tool and all that <clears throat> then I would use these fire bricks to make the use it to make a tray for the foundry to for the crucible to where it'll where it's not getting all the heat directly but it'll still get the heat but won't be as much as it is or actually never mind uh, about that oh, I'm just gonna never mind I would use this for I'd use this fire brick just for the when I'm using it as a fire pit, fire pit then I would use this to make a housing for the crucible. And lastly, I would use this to cut the angle for the crucible housing. And there's that. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you guys next week.